Let's go. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. Shut up I'm about serious. that. Jesus Christ. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. Actually, they can. They Trespassing. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell Security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. You, not me. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. So, technically, you're right, and technically you're wrong. Um, if I were wound, I would be safe, depending on string theory. You would not. However, the That's it. timeline of the Chloe that I saved would be okay. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key. Just in case. Why, yes, I could. Okay, let's go. Here are the keys. Yep. <sighs> None for the principal's office. Alright, now let's go talk to her. I can't yet, okay. Nothing here. Dead end. Yep, yep. Boring. Crap. Oh, no key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. Guess but not. I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. And that name is Warren. Hey, Warren, you busy? <clears throat> Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? <clears throat> huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Alrighty. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. Don't hate me. And thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? <laughs> I'm gonna go put it together. Pay attention, double seven. Stay here and not get caught. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. This Stay part soon. is kind of extreme. So, he wants me to make a pipe bomb. I just powered to use to create chlorine dioxide. Yeah, this is gonna go boom. Oh, wait, hold on. There's no way David would get into this Grant's face. Warren is such a classic. I should have signed that petition. Let's I fucked up on that. In the first episode, you can go and find um, one of the people, and she nope. will give you a petition. Doesn't anybody drink design. sodas here? All right. So, first off, wait. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Okay. Okay, I have the can. And here, uh, wait, can I look through people's lockers? No? Okay. Let's go into Mr. Jefferson's class. This is like a scene in a few things I want to look at in here. First off that. Okay. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. There we go. Second off this. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some. Wait, well, I, I didn't even look at that the first time. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. He's digging a grave. But he does have some style. 
Well, anyways, right, cigarette pack. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Right, grab this. The tape is mine. You're halfway home, Max. Warren. <laughs> Did you blow up, Max? Oops. Oh yeah, I forgot I have other text. For mom. Alright, there we go. And is that everything? Yep, okay. Let's go. And now into this room. First off, this. Thank you. Second off, not that. That. Here's the sodium chloride box. Actually, real quick, let's take a look at this. That way I can learn about it. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would go. have told me that factoid. Now it says weed killer. You know you're clumsy, Max. <laughs> Don't waste your I love that part. Use the damn chair. Because you personally know, hey, yeah, that thing's going to fall, then I'm going to have to rewind time, and then I'm going to have to fix it. And she figures it out herself. It's great. Only one more ingredient left. Yep. Okay. So last time I did this, and I didn't want to, Only a beam I did it by accident. So I'm not going to change his grade this time. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Not changing the grade this time because I wasn't sure if I was gonna get Warren in trouble or not. And I accidentally did that last time because look how close the sugar is to it. Ooh, sugar. There, got everything. Oh wait, hold now on, no, no, one last thing. Chloe that Max is the bomb. <laughs> look at it. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. All right, turn it on. Good evening, fish, fish. Fish, fish. Let's take a photo of it. Thanks, fish. Nice work. And now let's turn it off. Please God, I'm making yourself. record time. I'm like 20 minutes ahead of myself. Open that. Because the last time it took me forever it's going throughout the entire halls trying to find all this shit. Um, can I go into the girls' room? I never even checked that. A long Look. time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sup? Take Let's make a pipe bomb! Let's try this Snape. instead. Snape. Ooh. Severus yes. Snape. Yes! Time to blow Snape. shit up! Snape. Severus yes, Snape. Dumbledore! Like this is so cool! Dumbledore! Get ready to haul ass. All right, this part also took me like a few minutes to figure out. That was so fucking cool. Dang it. Oh, there we, we go. Are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? I know exactly what I should do. Do do do. Boom, baby. Sup? If this bastard open, she can't cheat with her ring hand. Oh, this is bullshit. Fucking door. Welcome to my domain. Hmm. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, hmm. if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk.
Mm. Cozy okay, chair. Sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair? This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Alrighty. Well, luckily I already know where everything's at. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy. Thank you. Only two oh, more turn that off. to go. Did you blow up the lock, Dina Bomber? Alright, cool. Don't really need to look at that stuff. Nothing really in look there. Look at this pile. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Hmm. Shocker. I actually did not read that the first time. You're not so tacky up close. Hmm. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Yeah, I, I didn't even know that there was a petition to sign the Tumble first episode. Leads. Here we are. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not gonna read my own. Why do I have a two point eight GPA? Jesus Christ. Also, I was born September twenty first, nineteen ninety five. Therefore, that makes me nineteen, almost twenty. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. And he has a four point oh, jeez. Why is my freaking thing so shit? Matt showed herself to represent the very best in Blackwell by stopping a fellow student, Kate Marshman. Oh, nice. Let's nab this last file, right. Sherlock. And the last one's right here. Always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling 1. Chloe. 1.7 GPA, geez. Bad, Chloe. I think we found everything in here. And then let's look at this. I should go join. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. All right. Let's speak. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. <laughs> David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are <laughs> not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's your powers <laughs> or best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? No. Holy the handicap fun. Jackpot! Cha ching Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's five thousand dollars here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. We're not taking Are you it. Gonna make a big issue out of this, or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself. I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Leave the money. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but. I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. All right. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Yep. 
so real quick, I'm going to go over what I kind of think is going to happen here at the end. I talked about last time I recorded, but I forgot it. I freaking messed up last recording. So I think I know how this game's going to end, and I'm sorry if any of you guys, if this is going to spoil it for any of you guys. I mean, it's not official because the last episode hasn't fucking come out, but I'm pretty sure this is how the game's going to end. So here's my prediction on it. I think, I think the whole world's going crazy or chaos theory is happening where we can't control anything because someone's still alive that shouldn't be. I saved Chloe when she should have died. That's one of the major things right now is... One second. That's one of the major things is someone's alive that shouldn't be. So it's causing the climate change, it's causing the Earth, the whole entire universe to react in a way that's negative because Chloe should be dead. And in turn, if Chloe did die, Nathan would be in jail. Nathan couldn't bully Kate anymore. Therefore, if Nathan goes to jail, he might get Victoria in jail too because they both conspired against them. Kate wouldn't be bullied. Kate wouldn't have tried to jump. And I wouldn't have had to save Chloe from the train. I wouldn't have had to derail the train, well, deroute the train to go somewhere else. And all this stuff would not be happening if Chloe just died. As horrible as that sounds, as absolutely horrible as that is, I think in the end, to save the whole entire place, to, sa- to stop the tornado and everything, we are going to have to let Chloe die. We're going to have to rewind time and let Chloe die. Because that's the number one rule of any time travel game is you can't change that the past. That English look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? I'm going to hate that if I'm right. Out swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. Oh, it's taking the back. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you say hella? Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Okay, I'm almost back to the part where it was before. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. True. Very, very true. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so... Okay, I I don't believe I need to look at anything here, so let's move on. Boys or girls? Okay, so... Here's one of the things that I did last time. I went to the girls' locker room, checked things out, and then I went to the boys rewound and went to the boys' locker room, checked things out. There really was no difference. So I'm just gonna go boys' locker room because that was boys a final decision I made last time. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Alright. And there really isn't anything here besides oh, I do kinda wanna go and look at one locker. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. Yep. But why? Jacket. Um. Nathan's. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? <laughs> Feedy. Sometimes. Sucks me up. There's a one really funny one. <laughs> I love Warren Gr- Gay Ram. Max is feminazi. Welcome to 1950. That is hilarious. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Oh, and then this. I love this. Dana needs a baby daddy. Mi gusto. Bros will be bros. Okay. So we're good there. Auction kit. In case I run out of air, I need more time. Yes, we get it. Water. What is up with this game?